again if friends I'm just gonna go into here and just you. maybe separate this a little you bit me bring in some light like a and hound. just just prune a little teeny but bit if I That's say all. I need you okay. it's a gorgeous tree you know where it is literally a gorgeous tree found. but she's a touch stick here this she's ain't love it's just Let's a do game this. Watch this. I've come Boom. here did go you see that? away I sure did and it's bound Look at this. to drive us crazy where'd you go if there we carry are. on there's another one here carry on that way friends we're talking <laughs> we need to stop so years ago we came and spiraled in every single one of these big trees every single one all through there one two three four five there's like 30 something trees okay look at the size of them like they're massive you call me they're up all to big tell second growth trees Spiral thin, every single one of them, right here, the tippy top. All of them. Everything. The whole, the whole girl. We can only work till 11 o'clock in the morning. This is a beautiful mushroom. Yeah, it was cool. So, I want to show you guys something. You see all the dead wood in here? It's like I'm talking big. This thing's dead. This whole piece of wood is dead. And do you know why that is? It's because no light's getting through the crown. No light is getting through the crown to feed the inside of the tree. The only limb you got is on the south side. See this? Here, here's a limb that's on the inside of the trunk because you got light coming through over here. You got the sun over here all the time. This is thick. We're gonna really thin this. Look at this. Like this is really thick in here. So we're gonna get light splashing through down onto this beautiful uh, growth here. Okay, like it, it takes time to do this stuff properly, but look where we've been. Look at how nice that looks. Nice and light. It's not all heavy and, and thwarted out like this. I mean, this is really heavy. Look at that. Like it, it is. So uh, take a visual of this thing. And then when we're done, it's going to look really cool. And it's going to look all, this is all going to be lit up. So remember these. Look at this, especially in here. Oh, this is going to be incredible when this is done. Okay? Now I want to show you something else. Look at this. Look at all this dead wood. We're going after it right now. And here's another Im Im improper tree. Look at all this
This is where I go. I go in here to do thinning cuts like this off the main stem. You see? Like this. Like that. Maybe maybe another one here. Look at look at this limb right here. It's all pretty, you know. See, this is thick in here, friends. Watch this transform. Okay? Sorry, you guys are way over there, but see? See it transform? Take another one here. Okay, look at that. It's starting to get we're starting to get some some light through. Here's one here we can take. And it just it lightens things up and things fall through. See how nicer that looks in there? I know it's not a ton, friends. I, I, I get it. But it is something. It's filtered light. Deadwood. Okay, look at how nice this is looking. We got three little limbs here. We'll take one in the middle. Watch, friends. See this? Just snip. You could even take another one like that. See? Bing, bang. Grab one here. Those are thinning cuts. You see? So, again, here's one here. We can literally just take one there. And there we are. That's limbs just been thinned. Here's a couple more. One there, one here, maybe one down here. And it just lightens it up, brings a bit of air through it, and lets the weather fall right through it. See that? It's called, you see, thinning cuts. Main stem's still in there. This looks way better, friends. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the light come through there now. Okay? So that's what we want for that style. See, look at friends. There's that limb. We're still out here, up there. But you know what's happened? This has jumped up about eight or 10 inches. I can get my head underneath it now. And it just looks wonderful. Look at it, nice and wispy. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I am. I freaking love this stuff. This is looking good. <clears throat> okay, on to the second layer of the tree now. Okay, friends, I'm up stage two now. I call this stage two, and you can see where I'm at. I've got the bottom stage done, there's air, but now I'm into stage two, and you can see it's quite thick in here now. Okay, and there's dead wood everywhere. So, these tools aren't the sharpest here. It's a friend of mine's here, she dropped, she let me use. So a lot of this can be broken, you see? And then just clean it up. So anyway, this is where one has to be careful because you've got growth off this lower section, okay? down here comes up and then you've got an upper another section of limbs scaffolding limbs and you got a lot of foliage on these lots of foliage so one has to be very careful in here as far as letting light through okay so here's a shot like I, friends, I, I'm serious I'm taking this right right there literally right there okay that's the deal see that it opens up a little spot right there I've already done it here okay uh, I can do a touch more in this teeny little bit of wood here. Just here. Okay, you see? And there's dead wood here. But it's in here that you have to be careful because this comes from lower. So what I would do is grab something that shoots straight up. See this one? Watch what happens. Let's get on it first. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. But you can see it. It comes off a lower limb right here. Okay? Boom. Watch what happens. Let's pull that thing out of there. Boom, you see? So now you've got a bit of light there, okay? But you've got foliage coming from all angles, so you have to really be careful and watch what you're cutting. So we've lightened that up a little bit there. I'll probably take more. Friends, don't be afraid to go in when you got multi stems. It's good, look at, all natural, never been topped. Okay, it's never ever been topped, this tree in its life, okay? so. Get this dead wood gone. See all this dead wood? It's obvious. It stands right out. See how much prettier that looks right, right away when you take that stuff off? It just looks good. But listen, when you get out into these, these lots of foliage here, don't be afraid to do some thinning cuts. I've talked about these thinning cuts lots. And all they do is they actually, they just bring in light. You know, and out here, like, like just a little snip here and there. Like, literally, like, snip. That's it, friends. Look at You do a ton of that out there all through the crown. You're loving life, just loving it, okay? So, you know, the smaller the wound, the better, is how I see it. You got some stuff coming in here. We could, we have an opportunity to bring some light in right here. So let's do it. Let's just pick our proper limbs. There's actually a good spot for it right here. This could actually be almost annihilated, that thing, because there's a ton of foliage in it. 
but I think I'll stay out in a small crotch. So I'm gonna go like this, this, and I'm gonna grab this one here that hangs down into the lower foliage and just give a nice clean cut to there, like that, you see? There we go. And I just opened this up, totally opened this up. And do this again in here. Because you got lots of these unions. See these? Can you guys see what's going down? Yeah, you can. You see? This is what I'm talking about. Boom. See that? Lightens her up and, and brings light in. So, I mean, this is a win win, friends, for the tree, for, for the company, for the whole gamut. Okay? So, when this comes across, this is coming across over into here, you know, pick a union. Pick a small little union. Here's one here. Grab it. Maybe grab this. Boom. See that? Look it. Nice bit of light in there. So that's the plan with that stuff. Okay, that looks great in there now, actually. And here's some more space where we can let some limbs in. This I might even take right here. Boom, there. Open that up. Lots of foliage in here. You don't, don't be afraid. Take a look at what you've got for foliage. If you've got a fair bit of foliage and lots of little limbs like this, see all this, you've got lots to play with. You could even come here and grab one of these. Boom. Little thinning cut. It's all light, friends. Every last bit of it is light. So, you know, look at this. Look at this. Look at all this. I mean, this is how these trees grow. So it lends itself to wonderful pruning. But rarely do you see it happen, which is a shame. Here's a spot here. Let's just get rid of this guy right here. But here's a spot here where, look at, I'll just poke in there. See this here? Look. You can grab that one and the one below it. Boom. And then this dead wood here, you see? Yeah, so it just, we're just thinning, friends. There's a little bit of light. See? Down it goes. Up we come in here, you've got unions everywhere. Little, little things and it just allows this, this lightening of the foliage to, to bring light through, you see? You pick and choose your bigger cuts, you know? Keep, keep, keep off your bigger cuts as much. This is really thick in here. Like, like this is really thick, look. You know, and you've got foliage coming over into foliage, you see here? So directional prune, you could go to the union right here, but eh, I think we can do better. I think we just come out here maybe. Mind you, that's not a lot. I think I will just drop that limb down there. There we go. You see, so that's created space in there. There's some stuff coming over here. Let's take this one too, there. Now we got a little hole in there, you see? Now we gotta go into this. This is the next layer, you see? And do some cuts in here. Take the one on the top and then the one on the bottom. So that way you actually create more light if you grab one from the, on the bottom limb, like this one here, grab the one on top. Then the one above it, grab the one on the bottom. So it opens up a nice hole like that, you see? See, we're, we're getting into quite a bit of foliage here now. But we want light. See, here's, here's a limb that comes out, and this goes straight up into a hole. You just go this, boom. Leave this growing down and out. This is shooting over from here. Let's grab it. Bang, you got yourself a nice set of light. Here's a little limb we can prune. Boom, now you've got a beautiful hole of light right through there, you see? So that's quite nice. I'm gonna do a couple out here while I go. You guys get the theory, I know you do. So I'm gonna carry on and do a little more thinning and, and make these trees happy and bring some light in for the lower foliage, for the inner foliage to the tree, and to the flowers that are gonna be planted underneath, okay? So we're gonna carry on. Lots to do here. So Over sometimes you can get lucky, you know, when you get into a situation where you've got, you know, this type of scenario here coming out, and you've got limbs, like, right kind of stacked over one another, you know? Sometimes you can get away with creating light by just grabbing the odd, you know, scraping off the top of the lower limb. Do you know what I mean by that? Like. Like scrape the top off the top, the, this bottom limb, okay? Like here's one here that's shooting up, just boom, you see? And, and force the growth down, okay? Like that, floof. And take a little bit out from underneath, and then if you like, which this is actually sticking out quite a ways for our symmetry on the outside of the tree, there's a nice union out there, a really nice union. Look at this friend. Look at, there's a nice crotch right there. Can you guys see that? I'll bet you can, right there. So I'm just gonna snip this here, boom. And that's gonna jump up because of the weight. And look at that beautiful space in there. It's created space. So, you know what I mean? Look at that in there, that's nice. You could even go as far as peeling out here and, and see this one. Here's one here, right there, where this one drops down. You take it, 
and you've got more of a beautiful space through there. So really just look at small wounds, friends, if you can. Just, just really concentrate on taking small wounds. I can't stress it. So I just spent some time in here, okay? And, uh, and, and it, was, it was really worth it. Really worth it. I'm just gonna pull this over and grab right that, like that. You see what I mean? Like, look at all the freaking foliage on the ground, friends. You know? but, but look at here. Look at the light coming through here to these beautiful, you see, this is pretty much done in here. This lower part is pretty much done. Obviously we haven't done up there and nor have we done down in here. Look at the difference in the darkness here. Like, look at friends, this is totally dark, but look at over there. Isn't that beautiful friends? I know I sure feel good about it because this tree is not going to be disrupted in any fashion. I love it. Better to prune it light than let it recoup, do its thing. You know, it's these big wounds that create the sucker and irregular growth. It's just not, I don't, I don't agree with it. Let's put it that way. So yeah, find your way in there, friends, overnight. Friends, let's look at this one more time. Always get this dead wood. There's always dead wood in here, okay? So let's look at this one more time. Here, here's a nice group of limbs, really beautiful, okay? But we lose our, we lose our space. See this here? And you've got to be careful with too much of this, this tipping type stuff because then you get stubby limbs. You don't want that, you want wispy. You want the tree to grow in its natural habit. So you're fairly dark in here, but you've got good scaffolding branches, but you've also got another one above it. So we need to create light in here. So I prune small. I prune really small, as you guys know. So I'm just gonna come in here to a nice prune, right there. See, we'll pull that out. Instant light, and we didn't hurt nothing. Okay, so this is a bit heavy. I'm actually gonna tip this out here, but, but it won't look like a tip. Do you know what I mean? You see, see what I mean by that? It's so small that it doesn't look like it tipped, but it jumped up, which is really nice. Let's pull this out of here because it's coming across into our zone. You see, see these hanging down in here? So let, let's look at maybe lightening this up a little bit here, here and here, boom. There we go, look, there's some light. See the foliage? See the pruning? It's teeny. It, it has done nothing to make anything irregular. I'm gonna pull this one right at the union. Boom. We're really dark here. So sometimes you gotta take a bigger cut, but not often, friends. Not often do you have to take a big cut. So we'll just take the weight off of that and we'll grab two thinning cuts right here. Bang, bang. Pull these out and see what happens. Okay, there we go. It's good, it's real good. Okay, so again, these, these, these cuts are teeny, friends. <laughs> Look at, they are literally teeny. I know I'm going off, I know, I know. But you see these, these pruning cuts I'm doing? There's some dead wood, lots of little dead wood in these trees. Okay, so this is starting to lighten up real good here. But we got heavy here. We're heavy hitters here. Let's pull this one out. It's a union, it's going up. And then we'll grab this top one here. And this will create a little space there. We gotta go above this now. So we gotta go up a step. Yeah, see, these are laying right on top of one another. See this? This is where you kinda gotta be careful. And this limb is not gonna really drop much. Like it's not, that's when you have to ask yourself, are we going back to a, to a, uh, a, a union here? Well, not necessarily. You don't need to. No, let's, let's take a look and see what we can do here. Let's grab some foliage out of here. See if we can bring in some light here. I'm gonna do a thinning cut right here. I'm gonna pull a couple of these. You don't wanna pull the whole bottom out of the tree, right? There, you got nice foliage. Let's grab another one here. These are thinning cuts, right friends? See, one there, leave a crown in it. Maybe tip one of these little teeny guys right here. Like that, okay? You know, so you're getting some light. That's a major limb out there. It actually could, it could use something here, to be honest, because it's actually, um, it's sticking out further than them lower ones, which we don't want. That was part of our shaping thing, remember? So let's do it. Let's actually shape that. There we go. That was our biggest cut right there. Sorry, friends. I know this is all in your face and everything, but... So uh, I'll show you the finished product. Here. I'll just quickly get some light here in here. 
You know what I mean, friends? You know, what I'm, you know where I'm, I'm coming from? Okay? So there we go. I mean, instantly. Light it, light it up. Let's take a look. It's a little thick in here, which is coming from over there. So we got to go over there now. So we're working our way around the tree, and you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, where, where was that one that just came across? I saw it. It was here, I think, wasn't it? Oh, it was actually here. Yeah, it was. It was here. Let's go out here and grab this. Right here. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's got light in there now. Good. Yeah. We can even grab this one guy here. That's the one. There's some light. So it, it's time consuming work, but so enjoyable. There we go, friends. Look. See? See how that ties in nice now? And now let's go out here and have a look. See what happens. Oh, sure. There you go. You see? Remember we talked about that? So where that one was, was right there. It was right there. That was our biggest cut, right there. This is here, and that's right there. So that's going up in a nice line. And you'll notice it out here too, friends. Let's quickly take a look. Because I think about symmetry, you got to think about more than one thing at, at a time. Look at it wisping around in the wind like that, friends. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about, see? Bottom limb sticks out furthest. The next step up is in about a foot. And then there's a gap there, so we'll be careful in there. But look at, look at symmetry. She's coming. See, we got a little bit to do up in there. This is coming together real nice. Real nice. Let's keep working it. So we're into a zone here again where you got a limb dropping down. Here's some dead wood. Let's just annihilate it. A little more dead wood. See how nice it looks when you get rid of the dead wood, friends? Look at this. Here's another quite a good sized piece. You see, but, but you see it just, it looks so much nicer with dead wood out of it. Yeah, this is starting to really come together nice, friends. Like, I mean, even, here's a limb, okay? Actually, we haven't been in here yet. This is getting into our next stage. Here's dead wood. See, this just comes down into here, which is fine. It's actually fine, but look at, let's watch this. You guys, look at, snip. Did you see what happened? That literally jumped right up and created a space in there with the teeniest, look at, it, you can't even measure that it was so small. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, friends? So it's just, just be careful is all I'm saying to you. Did I turn out there yet, friends? Has this been tuned? What's out here? I don't know if I've pruned this out here yet. Let's literally just give that a teeny bit, a little snippy, snippy dippy there. More dead wood. Give this a little wiggle in a flick and it'll get rid of your dead wood. Ooh, I'm getting a little high. There we go. Look at that, friends. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So she's thick in here. So let's uh, actually, you know what? Mm. Yeah. Jeez, what do we do with that? Friends? Look at that. Right there. A guy could almost take this one out, which would create a nice space in there, but ah, I don't like leaving this one with one limb. You know what I mean? That's a good sized limb coming off of there. Then you got a union right there, and then you got a couple more. So I'm thinking of just going here, like this. See that? Instead of taking this big union and leaving it, you're better to go out and thin in here and, and see what else you can find to bring light in. There we go. Here's something here that it could actually be a thinning cut. There we go. Here's something here that's dropping down from up in here, which could get directionaled out there. There we go. Nice bit of light in there now. You see, and you've left these big, these big unions. You know, you, you leave all this stuff. You see, so we got a bit to do here yet. How can I get this with, without? Um... I'm getting high on the ladder here now, friends. Whoa! <laughs> so, look at this, friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like it. I really like it. I've been here like a while. Look at the freaking foliage so far, friends. Look at it. It's a heap. <laughs> it's just, to me, this is the most enjoyable work in the world. I just love it. And look, look at the air over there. Back in the flash earlier. Do you know what, uh, do you know what drives me nuts? Is this right here, that. Like, and there's another one, just, Brutal. Is that not common sense? 
to, to, to normal people. Like, you know, I, I just, I don't know. It just seems like it would be normal sense. Take it to the, <laughs> I don't know, friends. I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. See, that's a big wound. Like, that's a big wound. Look at the light in here now, friend. I don't like them big wounds like that. I'm gonna have to do something else with that one. See, this is what we want here, inner growth. You do, you want inner growth. There's an old wound from somebody there, you see? And there's one there, not bad. Could even have been Buck and Billy Ray. You know what I'm saying, friend? Yeah, these, these aren't that old, you see, that's why they're not even calloused over yet. So that's not bad. Good. Good. Okay. We carry on. Okay, we are moving through. I wanted to get a bit of work done there, so I'll shut my yapper and get working so we're just kicking back on some dead wood here primping i call it primping it's coming up really nice friends this thing's starting to but again we're i just want to walk you guys through another one of these look at you see all this i mean it's right there for you it, it's quite thick so so here's some stuff shooting up you know, here's a nice little here's a scenario where look at this friends here's the first lower limb right there here's the next limb and then there, it's pretty thick in here i'd like to create some space in here somehow so in order to do that, this limb here is going straight to the straight to the bottom foliage. So I'm gonna pull it out and instantly you've created a space there. You see? And, and that's not a bad pruning wound. That's not a bad pruning wound. It's right here, you'll, you'll see it. There it is there. It's actually way less than like a third. It, it's good, it's, it's in the good books, that one. Okay, so, and then you've got stuff now coming down on top of it from up above. But I don't like coming back and taking these big wounds out. But we're in this zone now, see? Like, some of this has got to get done. I'm actually going to take that one right there. Okay, it's a thinning cut. You see, look at instantly we created space, okay? Here's, here's where there's two. See that right there? Coming off. I'm going to grab this one. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to pull it out of there. And we're going to get space. There's another two right here that can easily afford to be pruned. These knives are bugging me a little bit. There we go. Okay, and I'm actually gonna move the ladder out just a little bit. You see what's happened in there, friends? Instantly, okay? So, but I wanna show you. You know, it's not the end of the world if you make a cut you're not happy with. If, if, you know, but I wanna, see, it's easier to cut from, from inside, to be honest, because you can see where everything's originating from. Okay, I just needed to move the ladder a teeny bit. Here we go, okay. Where was I working, friends? Right here? Where was I? Here, let's pull back. I forgot where I was. Oh yeah, it was right here. Okay, good. So even here, let's get get this out of here. Create some create some space here. Okay, we'll, we'll go back down there and get that. This is laying on the bottom here. You see, it's laying in there. So you wanna. There's really no way out around this one. You, you've got to tip it because it's down here. So literally, stay like way out on the new growth. Literally, just take one teeny little guy there and a little guy here. Watch what happens. Boom! It's gone out of there. Here's another one. Just grab it right here. Like I'm talking, friends, look at this. Look at, look, it's a sprig, it's a toothpick. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, here's a bunch of stuff that's all fairly, you know, fairly tight together here. So we, you see it all? So, you know, I, I gotta create a little space here. There. there we go. See, that was a nice cut, bigger than I usually like, but it's still teeny, teeny. Okay, good. Let's move up. Now, this is where I was. This is exactly where I was. Okay, now, let's... This is growing into here. So, we've got all kinds of stuff. Picks, pick and choose your spots. There's one there. It's gonna create a little spot. We can actually lift this up to a nice limb there. I know I'm going quick, but I gotta get work done too, friends, at the same time. Well, that one was already cut, so let's take it right out. I thought about maybe taking this one out to the source, actually. I did, I thought about taking it, because it's just, I'm going to. I'm actually going to. There we go. 
create a nice little bit of space in there, okay? But these thinning cuts are killer, watch. Boom, boom, two little thinning cuts. Come back, grab a couple here. Here's some more, you can just, just thin as you go, right? But just be careful when you get out to the tips, you don't wanna create any goofy growth. Okay, this is coming together quite nice here now. You give your dead wood a little tickle. You see, get all this little, just, see, just like this, give it a little wobble and it'll prickle out. You see, there it all goes. Look at how clean it's becoming. Okay, all this little dead wood in here, you see? It doesn't take much. Here they are here, see? Boom, boom. There's another one. See how pretty that looks when it's done? Messy in here. Let's go after that. Okay, d does that make sense, friends? Y you see what I'm saying? How we got this theme rolling through here now? <laughs> Look at the sky in there. You see? Isn't that nice? Look at, look at how really nice that is through there. Okay? And yet, you come out here, and the tree looks the same. Look at, it looks exactly the same. We haven't been over there yet, or up there. We gotta do some there. There was a natural hole in here. I think they had a snow load breakage at some point. See that big hole up there? One year they had a big snow load breakage. But this is thinning out quite nicely in here, friends. And the beautiful thing about tipping and doing thinning cuts is it jumps up, the limb jumps up, because you're working out at the end of the tips, you see? Tip, 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 tip. So see how this, see how this limb is kind of right up in there? We've done down here a little bit. We're moving into this heavy zone here, but this is lightened. You can actually see the difference in foliage. Look at that limb there, and look at this limb. That one's kind of heavy and still bobbing in the wind real good, but this one's just sitting there floating. Look at it. See it? It's literally just wisping and floating around. This one's heavy. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go up there and thin that a little bit, just a bit. I mean, we're here doing it. It won't need this again for a long time. Okay, so you go up in here, get up on your ladder, probably a second from the top here. Okay, now we're in, we're in. So, so basically what this is, is a thinning show, friends. Literally a thinning cuts. That's it, boom, okay? So, because it's, it's, we've just had fresh growth, right? So just do, can you guys see what's going down here? Is that limb in your way? There, let's get that limb out of there. You know what I mean? I'm talking like this. Snip. Maybe pull back here, grab one of these. Snip, right? Maybe do, maybe do this here. Pop. You know what I'm saying? Do a little of that. Maybe grab one of these here. Just there. There it goes. Just to lighten that up, okay? It, it just, it makes a world of difference. Now we're thin right in front of my face, or, or thick in front of my face. So I'm gonna do some thinning cuts. One there, I'm actually gonna take that. Out it goes. This one here, I'm gonna drop the top off it so it flops up a bit. And I'm gonna redirect this out of here so we create some light. Maybe, maybe take a couple of these, leave one, take one, leave one, take one, leave one. You know what I mean? Just even this out here. Just out in there, just grab one. Look at it now, it's floating around like this. Here's a thinning cut out in the tips. There we go, see? There it goes. It just literally jumped up in the air. It's all good and happy now. We got a bit of foliage here we can actually scrape out of here. Yeah, this, this one here actually, I think I'm gonna gun this. Yep, I am. And you know what? I'm getting rid of that too. I'm creating some light in here. There we go. It's thick in here. I mean, it is. There we go. There we go. There. I'm more happy with this now. Even though this is a bit thick. Let's grab the couple of these off the bottom here and open this up, redirect this so there's a little space there. Maybe grab, uh, let's grab that one right out of there. There we go. There's some space in there now. Okay, maybe just here. This is a little tip heavy for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redirect this so it jumps up a bit here. Right there, there it goes. That's better. I like that. Let's go down and have a look at that. While we're here, we better get this one. I'm gonna take a union so it jumps and grab one big limb at the back. There it goes. That was it. Those were the cuts. Those were the money shots. I might even grab this one here. Boom. There it goes. Okay. There, done. Look at that, friends. Let's go down. Look it. Flip apple. Little thick right there. I wonder if that's coming from that top limb. I bet it is. Let's take a look. Let's make sure. Let us make sure, friends. Um, 
What is that? Where is that coming from actually? It's coming from right there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Alright. Hmm. She's coming together good, friends. Real good. So I'll have to move over for that because I'm out of my way here. So, look at that. Look at the sun. Look at the difference from right there to right here. You see? And then I'll have to get the pole pruner out to finish the job. Okay, uh, this, is, this is the one, the spot I wanted to show you, friends. We are right into the corner of the house here and it's really thick in here. Like, like, you, do you see the difference, friends? Can, can you see, like, like, look at the tree has not changed its shape really at all. You can't see any cuts. You won't see one cut in this tree. You, you won't, because the biggest one might be that big. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to see it. Look at <laughs> it. So, I've been wanting to do this to this tree for a long time. Look at it. It's lifted right up. Oh, it's, it's coming together quite nice. I'm getting tickled. I haven't had that done yet, so I'll get that with the pole pruner or my, or my pruning ladder. But you got to work, I do, I like to work the bottom of the tree first. This is all being thinned, friends. This is all being thinned in here. Don't, don't be afraid to come into your main structure. Come into your main structure. It doesn't always have to go back, friends. Are we full, guys? I wonder if we're full.